Leo Romero launches his solo project in 2016 combining the instrument style by guitarists such as Sergey Golovin, Emil Wurstler, Wes Hodge, among others and mixing it with an aggressive death, gen, and progressive metal style. The main subject in his music, despite not having lyrics, is based on futuristic themes, astronomy, and dystopian futures as well as having an artwork that reflects this in his releases. In the year 2017, he released the mini EP titled Nebula, with which he began playing in some live shows and giving guitar clinics. In 2020, he released two singles titled Gargantua and Prometheus, which come off in his EP Epigenesis which was released on March of 2022, accompanied by a live performance in July of the same year. For the rest of the year, Leo plans to release his new singles and promote his most recent EP, playing as many live shows as possible. Hello everyone, this is Kian from The Reaper Rocker and welcome to Reaper's Music Reviews. On this episode, we will do an EP review on Leo Romero's Epigenesis and I will share some of my thoughts in this EP. So, if you're excited to watch this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow my social media accounts. Let's start! On the song Epigenesis, I feel the melody of the song, especially on the high-pitched guitar parts, and I do appreciate that. It gives a pessimist and a sad tone. The title itself gives a definition where how your behavior and environment can cause changes on your genes work. And I could visualize the song where the subject is affected on the apocalyptic future and he's expressed depression and losing all hope on what's happening in the environment. On the song Prometheus, this song has a mix of jet and the progressive metal on the melodies. And it's one of a kind and it's relaxing to the ears. And it stresses out the emotion of the song. The visuals that I could uh, give in this song is a chaotic future where the person is trapped inside and tries to find a way out. In the song Gargantua, this song provides a funky slash progressive metal sound and it makes an interesting sound that caught my attention. This track is one of my top faves. It's unique and it has more on the experimental sound. The theme of the song gives more on the astronomical side where a black hole is eating up the other planets. From the title itself, Gargantua is a black hole. They have provided a good melody in relating his music to space. If it's possible that you are traveling in space, play this music. The song Apophis, this song shows more on the speed metal slash death metal sound and it would be a great suggestion if this song would be include a death metal vocals and it would surely appreciate it in this song i could visualize the scenery in a war where explosions are present everywhere and a lot of people die this song could be a perfect for a war film and strongly suggest that the movie producers that they could consider this song. On Eros, this track offers guitar plays and shreds. It is a straightforward in your face metal. I love the complexity of the guitar plays and it's suiting to the ears. I could suggest listening this track at the very end due to the simplicity. I could visualize that the war has ended 
and peace and love reigns as the shreds shows the emotions of peace. This EP will exercise your imagination and build a scenery based on the tone of each song. Each song has a different experience and for sure, a listener would have a different experience on this. For me, he's an excellent on stressing out the shreds on his guitar plays. It displays the emotion and even this is an instrumental EP, the guitar plays will sing for you and tell you a story. I rarely listen to instrumentals, but this EP would give me an exemption. The artist is exceptional and talented and he knows how to craft his music and choose the right sound that would fit on his song. Overall, the listening experience is superb and looking forward for his other material. Now, it's time for the verdict. What would I say in this I could rate this EP as 4.5 out of 5. Let's check out the mosh pots that we could visit for the following days. Alright, so that was all for the video for today and let me know in the comment sections what's your thoughts on Leo Romero's Epigenesis EP. Feel free to comment down below and if you like this video, don't forget to send a thumbs on my video. Again, this is Ian from The Reaper Rocker signing off. Rock on, Ipinas.